nor StarGuard online. A news and information service of the Minnesota National Guard. The 133rd Airlift Wing recently held their annual award ceremony in which they recognized the outstanding men and women who have gone above and beyond in the last year. For the first time since the award ceremonies began, Minnesota's Commander-in-Chief was on hand to recognize these men and women. Senior Airman Amber Manio has this story from the 133rd. As the 133rd Airlift Wing celebrates their accomplishments for the year, they were honored to have Governor Tim Pawlenty in attendance to address the wing. We all have a job to do, I have a job to do. I couldn't be more pleased and proud uh, to be an advocate for the men and women who serve in our United States military, the people who serve now, the people who've served in the past and are now with us as veterans, and to honor also the memory of those who've passed on. Uh, I've never been associated with a finer collection of people in my life. In recognition, the Charles Dick Medal of Merit to Honorable Tim Pawlenty, Governor of Minnesota. Governor Pawlenty has a passionate advocate for Minnesota National Guard as its Commander-in-Chief while they have participated in the highest level of deployment since World War II. Governor Pawlenty also presented awards to the Wing's Honor Airmen. The award ceremony was closed by remarks by Colonel Gregory Hasse, the Wing's Commander. What an effort. To do that it takes each and every one of you working as a team of professionals. Dedicated Airmen striving to ensure those we send into harm's way are prepared sacrificing the time necessary to make it right. Thank you. Reporting for the Minnesota Air National Guard's 133rd Airlift Wing at the Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport, I'm Senior Airman Amber Mania. For more information about the 133rd Airlift Wing, visit us at minnesotanationalguard.org.